Hello, I'm Sapna Maheshwari, Quick Site Specialist, Solutions Architect at AWS. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use string functions within calculated fields. For a complete list of string functions available within Amazon Quick Site, please refer to the link mentioned here. In this video, we will go over these five string functions. Here I have a data set which has PII data. Now I want to only display the last four digits of this column. There are two ways of doing this in QuickSight. One is using the split function and the other substring. We'll go over both the ways. Create a calculated field and we'll call this split function and we'll use the split function let's check the syntax for a minute it requires an input string and what is the split string and the position what it says is which column you want to split i want to split the pii data column and the split string is the hyphen right because it's a string i'll enclose it into in quotes and then I want the third portion of it because I want the last four digits of the PI data column which will be the third portion so say save and now if I put split function in my table I will see the last four digits now let's achieve the same functionality using the substring function remember I need the last four digits which means I want to start out at 8th digit and go all the way to 4 digits. So the length of the substring is going to be 4 starting with the 8th digit. So let's create the calculated field and call it substring. Find the substring of the PI data column starting at position 8 and give me the 4 digits save and now let's bring in the substring column there you go the similar functionality achieved using split and substring function now say I do not want to just extract the last 4 digit rather it would be cool to just mask the first uh, 5 digits and show the last 4 digits so let's use uh, let's create a masked string of the PIA data add a calculated field and name it mask use the function replace and let's look up the syntax for replace you need to provide the column name and then what is the substring that you want to replace and what is the replacement right so I want to replace the PI data column uh, the substring that I want to replace is the first six digits, right? Which is the left six digits. So I'm going to use the left function. And again, the PI data give me the first six digits of my PI data. Once you locate that, replace it with the string. All right, so let's save this and bring the mask column. Now say, um, if you're able to find the number 100 in your PI data, then it belongs to a particular state uh, versus a 200 belongs to another state. The locate function in QuickSight returns a number which equals to the number of occurrences of a particular string. To further elaborate, let's look at the syntax of the locate function. So it will try to locate for a substring in an expression and if it finds the substring say two times in this expression, it will return the value 2. If it finds once, then it will return 1. If it does not find this substring within this expression, then it will return 0. 
So as long as if this locate function returns a value greater than zero, that means it has found a match. So we're going to use this function to determine the location of the PI data number. So I'm going to say locate in my PI data column, the number 100 or rather the string 100. And if you're able to find that, which means it is greater than zero, then return the state as Arizona. And if you're able to locate 200, right, then it needs to be say New Mexico. And if you find 300, then call it New York, else just null. Okay. Now, this is the locate function. This needs to be enclosed in an if else statement. So let's do that. Let's do if else. All right. And we're going to give it a name as location. Save. And now bring location into your table. So as you can see, I had the number 400. So it's null. But all the hundreds are returning as Arizona, 200 as New Mexico, 300 as New York, and so on. Thank you for watching. Please follow the links below for more videos.